Hi, this is Lucy Brian Malenke from the James Madison University Writing Center, and this is the first video in our group writing series. In it, you'll learn about the benefits and challenges of group writing. If writing is something you're used to doing alone, you might be wondering what the point of group writing is. And if you have written as part of a team in the past, you might feel concerned about the ways that group writing can go wrong. Let's start by thinking about why instructors give team-based writing assignments. One of the reasons is that when students work together to solve a problem, complete a task, or create a product, they experience a number of social, psychological, and academic benefits. For example, research has shown that collaborative assignments help us to build social support and to learn conflict resolution skills. Collaborative assignments also help us actively engage in the learning process by giving us the chance to formulate, defend, evaluate, and develop our ideas in a group setting. Instructors also give group writing assignments to prepare students for the workplace. In a recent survey by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, organizations hiring new college graduates said the top three skills they were looking for were the ability to work in teams, problem-solving skills, and written communication skills. Group writing assignments give you the opportunity to practice all three. And no matter what field you are entering, it's likely that you'll engage in some form of collaborative writing in the workplace, whether that involves composing reports, applying for grants, writing policies and procedures, presenting the findings of research studies, or creating marketing materials or educational resources. Students here at JMU have also shared what they like about team-based writing assignments. Some of the benefits they've mentioned are that groups can take on bigger projects and accomplish more than individuals. Groups provide an opportunity to form friendships with students in your major or program. And groups expose you to ideas and perspectives you might not have thought of or considered on your own. While there are clear benefits to group writing, there are also some very real challenges. Some of those challenges are practical. College students have busy lives, and scheduling times to work together can be difficult. Ensuring a fair division of labor, as is often the expectation for class assignments, may prove to be a demanding or even confusing task. Interpersonal issues can also be a problem. Sometimes personalities clash. If group members have different communication or problem-solving styles, that can create conflict. There can also be differences in expectations. Sometimes group members' visions or standards for a final product vary significantly, and that too can cause frustration or clashes. If you've participated in group projects in the past, you've probably experienced the phenomenon psychologists call social loafing. That's the tendency for people to put less effort into a task if they're working as part of a group than they would if they were working alone. Dealing with someone who skips meetings, misses deadlines, or turns in low quality work can be frustrating for group members who must then pick up the slack. But working with perfectionists can be just as stressful especially if they take over the project to impose their vision, depriving others of the opportunity to contribute. The good news is that there are proven strategies and methods for working in groups that can help you avoid these pitfalls and get the most out of team-based writing assignments. Please watch the rest of the videos in this series to learn more about approaches to collaborative writing, how to create team charters, how to develop task schedules, and more.